Ladies, let me tell you, if you want to put drag handlebars on your Honda Rebel, man, be advised. It ain't easy. It's just, it is not a no-brainer. These are the drag handlebars here. Uh, they are definitely the way to go, okay? They are the way to go. This isn't done yet. These aren't... These aren't really secured on yet. Now, when you buy this handlebar, there's no holes in it. There has there's a hole for the steering dampener in here you're gonna make. And then like this this here, there's a there's another hole for this I have to drill. Because there's like a little piece of metal in here that has to go in the hole. Here, let me let me show you the old set of handlebars here. I'll show you what I'm talking about with these holes. See, that's where the steering dampener, like a little clip goes in there, and that's the other hole. There's, there's, two, there's, there's two on each side. Or what's going to happen is uh, your, your slider will spin around, and that'll spin around, just like this. See, that, that moves, too. So... There are one eighth of an inch holes. I have to I have to position them and drill them. I have to figure out probably right there. You know I think that's good there. You know these are you know these are adjustable. Then when we put this back on, we'll use some uh, some rubber cement that goes on rubber cement. And uh, I had you have to also reposition your turn signals. As you see, I got my turn signals off. You could probably buy. A relocation bracket kit but what I did is I made mine what I had to do is I had to take the um, I dropped the headlight I did unbolt the uh, speedometer you don't really have to do that take your speedometer cable off I have my wires marked where they go and um, I got a nice little bolt here this this bolt here will go in here dress it up a little bit. I have to fit a nut to it. And basically what I did is I made my own brackets. Here, let me see if I can do this with one hand. Mm, there we are. Okay. This is how it's going to go. Okay. That's what it's going to look like. It'll go... Well, actually, it won't go there. It'll it'll be positioned about right there. Because if you have this one go back like this, it doesn't work for the other side. Because the um, the brake master cylinder is in the way, so it won't. Work. What works for the left side doesn't work for the right side. But with this about right there. The right side works out like that too. You know, and then you just all you have to do is just turn your signal up a little bit. That way it faces toward the road and we'll wire up our turn signals and it'll be done. And I made these, I had these aluminum. I, I actually I got that off of a it they, I, I had to cut them and I drilled the holes so it didn't look at like it didn't look like that whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, you're going to definitely have to have relocation brackets, man. You know, and another thing you got to do, too, is I had to make spacers. See these pieces of spacers right here? Those have to be spray-painted. Spray-paint them silver. And uh, that's actually a piece of pipe. Off of that piece of pipe I had there laying around. Because, you know, these don't thread all the way down. The turn signals thread about right where that bracket stops. And uh, that's what you guys got to do, man. Those are probably 2-inch, maybe 3-inch brackets. Or, if you want to, you can relocate your turn signals. But since I don't want to spend much money, I, uh, I went that way. I went that route. 
you know, or maybe some of you, you, you got to look into your laws. Like in Pennsylvania, the turn signals have to be 16 inches apart. I mean, you might even get away with something you can just stick in a hole there and it's going to be like right there, you know. You might even be able to get away with that. But I'll tell you, man, these are definitely the way to go. The motorcycle is a lot more comfortable. These mirrors aren't up in my face like they were with the pullback handlebars. You know, it definitely looks a lot better like that. And you could even you could even resort back to using your stock seat. Because, you know, with a stock seat, you slide forward more. And with the pullback handlebars, if you're not a small dude, the, the mirror's like right in your face. So this way here, it's a lot better. I like it. I really do. I can't wait till I'm all done with it. I'll probably I'll probably finish this up tomorrow. I like it. I tell you, it looks a lot better, man. I think another thing I'm going to do too. We're going to put an LED light here in the front. Got our Honda shadow mirrors on. Yeah, guys, you're going to have to relocate your turn signals, man. Or put risers. Because your the turn signals hit right here. They hit, they, they like they run, as you can see. They run right into here. And if you put risers on here, what the hell is the sense of changing your handlebar? You know, I was, I was that's what I was going to do. I was going to put risers here. And then I'm thinking to myself, you know what? It's not going to work out. I got to wait for them. I'd rather relocate the turn signals. So, all right. I'll catch you guys later. I'll see if I can finish this tomorrow. And uh, we'll have this up and running, hopefully.